Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Relics, and today we are going to continue our Fire Emblem journey in which we are doing Hector's Hard Mode Iron Man. Uh, we left off on Chapter 29, Cog of Destiny. And if you guys have played this game, which you most of you have probably done so, because you know Fire Emblem is a pretty old game at this point, it is one of the harder chapters when you're doing Hector's Mode. So the boss is Lloyd. He is a sword master. He is one of the strongest uh, class types as far as uh, if they have max stats, which he does have pretty high stats. So I showed you guys before in the last video, but we'll just go over it again real quick. Um, so here's Lloyd, level 18 sword master. He has light granite light and iron rune. His stats are really high. He so the light brand is pretty light, um, and it. He doesn't lose any speed because of it. Therefore, he uh, he has 22 straight up speed. So I need characters with either the same amount or higher in order to either double and or uh, not be doubled by him. He also has pretty good defenses and strengths. So in general, he's pretty tough. But he is not the issue because he doesn't move. He sits on the throne, doesn't do anything. The real trouble is all the magic users around him. As you can see. This place is full of magic users only. So the biggest issue are, are units like this one with a sleep staff, not to mention uh, has seven range, but it's a Valkyrie, so they can move pretty far and use the sleep staff, as well as this guy who has Luna. Uh, we also have these Valkyries over here. There's a Berserk, uh, Silence, and a sleep as well and then of course we have more over here this one has berserk this one has fortify this one has uh, this one has bolting over here this one has purge so these guys are pretty strong and these fighters over here uh, fighters these heroes are no pushovers either so everywhere we go there's going to be issues but it shouldn't be too hard if we take our time um, I did do battle preparations beforehand, so just to throw that out there. Um, just so we know, I will be taking Lin. I will be getting her one kill. Hopefully one kill will give her 90 XP for her level. For level 20, then I'm going to use the Heaven Seal. Uh, I am not taking anyone else here, so everyone you see here is in the party. So obviously Hector's required. Elwood is practically my strongest unit. Even though his stats don't scream like best unit, of course, but his strength and speed, uh, as well as him being a lord in general, is pretty good. And then you got Fiora, Fiona, and Florina. Uh, Flyers are good against magic, as we can see. Uh, maybe not Florina's defenses; she is actually the most uh, vulnerable as far as the three sisters are con uh, concerned. However, she is the most strongest physically because of her max strength. Farron is kind of right there as well, but she is an overall better flyer. And then there's Fiora, who is not as strong physically, but she does have the resistance so she can survive. And she has the most HP as well. So they're in Priscilla, Restore Staff, and Physic. I need her, not to mention the mobility. Pent, he's also in. He's strong with uh, magic and he has good resistance with Restore Staff and Physic. Sarah is also in, she also gets her own Physic Staff, but she's in because she has high resistance and high luck. She can go and fight the Druids without any issues. The only thing I'm worried about is if she does enough damage, which I did not check. With Shine, she has six, so that's 18 total damage. Going against this Druid, she only does one damage, so I actually may need to give her something else, or she needs to, uh, level up and get some good magic which I don't think she's going to level up because she already has she's already level 12 so that could be an issue but she can take on the other enemies with ease even if it's like a uh, Valkyrie because I don't believe the Valkyries have much magic 25 22 and I said what 24 so she won't be taking damage from them but she also won't be doing damage to them as well uh, the only other unit here is Oswin uh, obviously I need him he's the biggest tank on the in my crew and his resistance isn't bad for a general as well but uh, I might as well have him in because once we get to Lloyd he could be a strong unit to go against him if no one else um, but overall uh, this is the party I got 
and I don't think I'm going to really choose anyone else. Ninian could be in as well, but I figured to leave her out. Matthew's not needed. Kent does not have resistance, so I left him out as well as Raven, who also has horrible resistance. Uh, Dart is not in for resistance, even though he has the HP and speed, and the same thing with Marcus. So this is the crew I'm going to be using for the rest of the game. Jafar is probably also one of those guys I could throw in as well, but he is not needed for this chapter, therefore I'm not going to play him. So just explaining my, my choices, but otherwise we're going to go, I believe I don't need to do anything else. Let me just double check, because last time I didn't double check, I kind of got myself screwed over. So it looks like I got everything I need. So what I'm going to do as well is, uh, I'm going to show you guys my plan of attack. So I'm not going to go up. There's no point in going up here. There's nothing here for us. The only thing I would do is maybe draw out the bolting, you know, and, and tank it. But I need someone with good resistance for that. So my plan of attack is to maybe just go th this way through the bridges and this way. Uh, I need to get Lynn a kill, so I'm going to draw in one of the shamans to do that. You need to watch out for the sleep staff. So if we see here that the Valkyrie can move right here. It should have what it was seven, right? Yeah, so if we go right here, one, two. It's right there, right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So as far as this woods is uh, the range, as long as I stay away from that, I'll be okay. So I move Lynn this way. She needs to get one of the shaman kills. Uh, I'm also going to have, uh, not to make, okay, so another reason why I'm not going to go up is because I don't want to risk anyone getting, uh, you know, like, Berserk or something because I only have two Restore Staff, so I can only go two pathways, so one here and one here, in which Priscilla and Pint both need to stay pretty close together just in case one or the other gets put to sleep and or is Berserk, so that's why I need to stay, to stay close together. And unfortunately, Sarah doesn't have one, so... Uh, she will go left, though, to help the Flyers if they need healing. But as far as everyone else is concerned, I have to take my time with it and, you know, just be aware of the staves are around. Um, I will probably put Priscilla here. And I'm going to draw in that sleep with uh, Florina. So I'll put her in range of the woods, that way she can try and- she has the most avoidability amongst the three flyers. So hopefully she can dodge and not be put to sleep and then this Valkyrie will be vulnerable. So I'm going to keep this Shaman alive. Uh, it's probably going to attack Merlinus. If it doesn't, that's fine, it'll probably attack Lin otherwise. But I need to keep it alive. That way she can get the kill. Uh, Hector will stay right here because Vita will spawn and at the end and she will uh, have some wyverns with her as well and we can recruit her on the turn that she arrives. Um, as far as anyone else, Pent will go up the middle. I think we are in range if we go on the bridges. Uh, Purge range. I don't know if he moves on his own, but if he doesn't... Uh, then I would want to just be like right here. Unfortunately, that's out of range of the monks, so... Um, I think I will just test it out. If the Purge does attack, that's not a big deal if Pent, uh, Pent gets attacked, so... Yeah, I'll just have him do that. And then everyone else kind of is just on standby, including Elwood. So everyone's just kind of waiting to see what happens. So those mages are moving in. I could have Lin go that way after she transforms. That way she can try and get her bow, uh, bow rank up because she will use bows. So as you can see, the monks can't even damage pent, so that's good. And they have decent EXP. Five for a for monks. That's pretty good, actually. Purge moved in, tax pent. So that's kind of scary because now everyone else is in range of that purge. Bolting is also moving in. So all these units with their special items, they're all moving in. 
So this will be a very interesting battle. Florina did get put to sleep. I don't know what uh, how stave staves are calculated, their hit rates, but uh, if it is truly a like if it is like a hundred based on their hit rates, then uh, that's actually pretty lucky of them. I probably should have put visuals on just because of it, but that's okay. All right, so for this, uh, I'll just use the silver sword, I guess. Darn, if my land had two more strength. And I did get hit, so that's what I was worried about, but it's alright. She did get the level. Strength? Darn it. But she did get four stats, so that's good. Including resistance, which will be helpful. Alright, so now I need to heal her. I also need Priscilla to cure Florina. So this this druid did spawn with a Nosferatu, so he's not a big issue. The only one I need to worry about is the druid who has Luna. So right now we're all out of range of all the big bad units, so we can attack these Valkyries. Uh, this one's actually not too bad, he doesn't have anything that can kill us. So we just need to kill the one with the sleep. So I don't have a seat. Fiora should be able to do that since she... Oh, I came in double. Ooh. Crit. Alright. Uh, I need Farina to do it then. Farina. She can't get the kill. But then the Valkyrie can also double her. Man, these guys are strong. This one has 20 speed, so she. this one is the fastest one here. Alright. Um, if I miss, I have a chance to die this turn. So, uh, let's see. Uh, I can cure you first. So actually, you could use probably Florina to do this instead. But then again, she does take more damage than other the other uh, ladies as well, so. Um, so if I get hit by a Purge and the Thunder, it's going to be a lot of damage. But we'll see. Let's do it. Flame will get this kill, and then I will kill this shaman here. Make sure he one shots, that way I don't lose any HP. Alright, so that's good. Merlinus, you can keep moving that way. Alright, so Valkyrie with the sleep is gone, so you guys can keep moving that way. I need to heal you. So now Lin can move back and uh, transform. These mages are on their way. Uh, Pent can actually move up. Let's see. This one has Physic. This one has Bolting. The Berserk did not move, so that's fine. Uh, actually, the Bolting Mage, he has 30 attack. How much did I have? 17. So he'll do 13 damage to me. Oh, man. And did, he didn't have a critical, right? No. So he'll do 13 damage to me. Interesting. I should have probably brought another elf fire, but that's all right. Uh, let's see if we can move in a little closer. That way we can see if we can hit that purge. Uh, let's see, what's the range? So right now they can hit everyone in the red. Probably go after Lin. Probably. If I put Oswin in range, they might go after Oswin. So we'll maybe do that. So they decide to attack Fiora. Interesting. So they attack the purge attack Lin, just like I thought, because she has the lowest resistance. Uh, the Druid is using Eclipse which has the really low hit rate so honestly it should never hit me. Dodge. So another bishop spawn. What does this one have? DJ. Just Divine. Alright. So. Um, just real quick. I have six resistance. Oof. Terrible. Um, Eclipse, 
the hit rate on this guy he only has uh, 56 hit rate he did attack pent who has a 46 uh, even if they had an extra boost because of the weapon type that's still just very very minimal uh, hit rate um, so again none of these guys are pretty strong the only one here is the bolt team but they this Valkyrie does double pent that's not good 23 speed oh my goodness I didn't even I did not know that. This one has 18. Oh boy. So this could be a little bit more troublesome than I thought it was going to be. Uh, we may need to double tank some magic here. Alright, I need to back lane off ASAP. Uh, Manikati is lighter. Let's use the Heaven Seal. So I did get 5 resistance, that's really good. That's absolutely amazing, that's what I need right now to survive because uh, those magic users are coming and they are going to hit hard. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. Alright, so here's my level 1 Lin, Blade Lord. Again, not the greatest defensively, but it's not, it's not horrible. It really isn't that bad. Could have been a lot better though. Um, so I'm gonna have that Luna is pretty scary, right? I could kill him now, but I could also run the risk of my characters dying or getting too too many hits. Oh, I didn't even realize these shamans actually have Luna themselves. That's pretty deadly. So if they all attack at the same time, they could uh, actually kill me. It's no wonder that my Fiora got hit so easily. So I may need to move my Sarah up first instead. Um, I need to get this village though because there is a brigand that is coming for it. These guys all have weaker weapons except for this Luna so I can't attack that shaman. Darn. How much damage do they do? Very minimal damages. What is that 10, 12? Plus the uh, 12 there. 24. 24, what is that? 19. 24. 28. Plus this guy, if he attacks me. Ooh, pretty scary stuff. But I can't actually do it with Florina. So I could go over here with Florina, kill the shaman, and have my javelin out. Those higher shamans right here will attack me and I should be okay. I will survive. Now the only scary part is like this one. Uh, what's your range with that? Seven as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just out of range, we're good. Uh, the rest of us can actually maybe just retreat. So I'm going to have Sarah move over here. She's going to lure in these shamans. I'm going to have her use the shine, maybe? If I use the shine, I'm going to get lose 3 speed. That's what? 14? And this one has 19, so it will double me. But it can hardly damage me, so that's fine. You know, that's fine. Uh, we will use shine against the shamans. Uh, Fiora and Farina will stay nearby just in case I need to help anybody. Okay, yeah. So we'll stay right here in nearby so we can support anyone who needs the help. Uh, these, as long as these shamans attack Sarah, so that's all good. So I'll put Merlinus there. Priscilla will come back and heal Lynn. And 
I'm going to have to pull back with Pent because there's a lot of guys coming, including that Bolting. But I need to start using that Bolting up, so I need to stay in range. So I gotta be like right here. It's trying to look a scary. Let's see, can Elwood tank all these guys? That's all eights. Um, if I go on the woods, which yeah, if I go on the woods, their hit rates would be very minimal. None of them should hit me. So uh, you can't reach, right? It's just one. Darn. Only if I go here, only one will hit me. That's not good. I need to kill more than just one. This purge does 25 damage. We'll do 14. 14 damage to me. None of them have crits. So 14 plus... 8, 22, 30. So I just need to stay out of range of at least one. So if I go like right here, I should be fine. Diagonal of the woods, right? It's out of range of bolting. You guys don't have anything. See, I should be fine right there. Alright. I'm gonna put Osmond over here. Hector on the woods, that way he doesn't die either. So I don't remember, this is only like the third time I've ever done this. I got hit? Are you serious? This is like only the third time I've ever done Hector's hard mode. So I'm not sure, I'm not familiar with the way the enemies move on these farther chapters. Um, yeah, I'm not used to them all charging. So that's why this chapter could be a problem for me. Oh, I forgot about Osmond being in range of the mage. Darn it. That was a mistake. So, yeah, this is a little scary just because all of the siege tombs are moving in. Tomes. Siege tomes. But we should be alright as long as we can tank their hits enough. Good job, Sarah. Good job killing the shamans. Good job, Flinger. Keep dodging. Not the best level, but she got resistance, so that's good. Right now, the more resistance we get, the better. I need to keep make sure Lynn keeps dodging, because she can't take I don't think she can take both the bolting and the purge at the same time. First bolt sing. Pent dodge, that's great. This Trobadur just charged right in. That's very interesting. So the good thing about Merlinus is he's really strong. As you can see, he already has max speed and he has 29 luck, which is practically max. The only thing that's not good is his resistance is only four. But on a forest, he has 89 avoidability, so he can act as a tank and avoid everything that comes at him, which is really helpful. Yeah, I got hit by that. That's terrible. All right, so I'm gonna get this village real quick. What's this guy? Flux. So he can. I could stay in range of him. So if you see here, Murdoch's here. He's gonna give us something. He gave us a warp staff. So I'm gonna move back and in range of the shaman. Uh, let's see. This one still has the Luna, so I need to stay away from him. What does he do? 24, right? So he can kill me if he hits me, oh my god. Which my Sarah just does not have enough void ability for that, so I need to stay away from this druid as much as I can. So I need to hold my lightning out. And draw those guys closer to me. If this guy could get a little bit closer, that'd be great. Alright, um, let's see. Uh, what was this one, right? 
So you have 25, you have 30. 25 and 30, my goodness. What was that, 19 and 14? So that's not enough to kill Lin, but that is a lot of damage. But as long as I go on a forest, I should be able to dodge them both. <laughs> Still kind of scary though. Um, Osmond will not be able to tank everything. However, he does have more resistance and HP than Lin. So actually, I could leave him right here with a hand axe and javelin out. Which would be good. I'm going to have the hand axe out actually. Then Lynn can use her bow, which she shouldn't be weighed down, right? Five, yeah. So she shouldn't be weighed down. She can kill the mage here. That's good. Um, yeah. Uh, Elwood here needs to stay out of range as well. This is getting a little close. I don't like how close the enemies are getting to me. God, this Valkyrie is way fast. Why why is this Valkyrie at 23 speed? It is way too strong. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna have to protect Lin if I can. She can't be attacked close combat, otherwise it's gonna be bad. So I'm gonna put you here. I'm gonna put you here pent right here on top and then Elwood you stay where you are and just iron sword and heal all right that's good there so I don't care about this troubadour in fact if it keeps charging that's fine by me These Valkyries are hella strong. 19 speed, my goodness. I can't take many hits, so I can't risk, you know, attacking and killing this one. Was it seven? You can't reach me, right? Well, but I have to move Merlinus away. See, so yeah, I'm gonna have to just sit here and wait. I can't do anything right now. Alright. I'm going to turn animations on this turn because I just want to see what happens. Uh, hopefully we're alright though. Let's take a look. So all the, the lame units are moving in first. I'm going to kill you. Get out of my face, monk. So the shaman decides to attack Mirrorness as well. That's fine. He won't hit him. As long as I'm on the forest, I won't get hit. Alright, see what happens in the middle. Purge goes after Hector, that's not good. But I dodged, so that's good. Thank you. I totally forgot about Hector being targeted, even though he is on a woods. So the Eclipse can't hit anybody, that's fine. Bolting moves in, also attacks Mirrorless. They are both in range now, so that's good. Crit. Yes! That's very helpful. Me getting hit, though, is not helpful. Come on. Crit, Lin. Crit! Darn. That's okay. As long as we don't get hit, right? That's all that matters. Another bishop spawns, make sure. He only has divine. Okay. Um, so all these guys are in close. This is still very scary, though. Uh, what I could do is I could use Hector. Could probably wolf bail one of these guys. Uh, this is the purge. Yes, it is. I could kill this one with Elwood, which I think I will. 
So the purge is dead. So that's one tomb down. Uh, the last one is the bolt scene. He is probably the scariest one though. But if I can punch through, I could kill him this turn. However, I leave myself open with these Valkyries here, so that's not good. But I can't kill them with wind. Let's see. How much damage do I do? 21. So I do not do enough damage to this one, but I can't kill this one. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. Which pence fine. 23 attack. This guy has 10 attack. Uh, 10, that's 28. 28, my goodness, that's still 11 damage to Pen. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Uh, Lin has to kill this one. Nice crit. For sure kill, right? Just get the for sure kill all the way. Alright. Um, so that means, uh, heck, I could use Oswin to kill this one. So I will not be able to kill the Bolting this turn. Nice crit. Just get that out of the way. Just for sh Get the guaranteed kills, right? That's all I need to do. With that done, I can move Pent and Priscilla up, and they'll be okay. So you can kill this one, and Pent can kill this one, or, well I guess I don't need to kill them. Yeah, I don't need to kill them, I, I'm actually going to heal. So I'm going to trade with Osman so he has his hand axe out again, and I'm going to heal. There, so now Lin is no longer in danger, except from the bolting, which cannot kill her. This Valkyrie is out of range, thank goodness I actually didn't even check that. Uh, Sarah cannot die either, so she's fine to kill this one. Because these guys only have Flux, not Luna. Uh, if the Sage wants to attack Hector, that's totally fine too, he won't die to it. In fact, I could probably kill- oh, I can't kill the Trivager. <laughs> I don't have any supports on Oswood and Elwood. Okay, yeah, so I don't- I can't kill the uh, Trobadur, but that's okay. Just stay safe. That's all that matters for Hector. Just stay safe. You can't die. Alright, over here we have Nosferatu, Nosferatu, and the Luna is still here. I can't kill him this turn since there's so many other dudes. And these guys do pack a punch. So, I will have to retreat into the corner and draw in the druid even farther. As long as he attacks me first, that's going to be okay. My only javelins too, so I gotta make sure he's the one to attack. Um, which means I gotta be out of range, so I gotta move over. You go there, and you guys are out of range, that's cool. Alright, let's see what happens now. So they will attack Oswin, but they can't damage him, that's fine. Oswin gets a low. Please! Strength! Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. This is the worst Oswin ever. So the monks are cannon fodder, they can't do anything to anybody whatsoever. So I'm not worried about them moving in. Alright, these two. Oh, clips, okay. Then this guy. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Yay, and I kill him. Alright, first one attacks Priscilla. That's perfectly fine, because you can't damage me anyways. Uh, you probably attack Priscilla instead of like Osmond because I can uh, I can't kill him, whereas Osmond could have. 
And the Volting does attack Hector. Oh my god, that's a crazy amount of damage. But I dodge, that's all that matters. Alright, we're looking good. We're surviving. We're getting through the worst of it. Another Nosferatu spawned. Alright, so Luna is out of range. Which leaves all these weaker guys vulnerable. But it's still a lot of damage. Even if I uh, use Fiora. Oh no, I, they don't even damage me. So actually that's good. So as long as I stay out of range of that, I can kill this guy. Hopefully. He missed, I kill. Awesome. Alright, so the rest of these guys, they won't be able to touch me. So I am pretty safe now. Uh, I will back off even more with Lorena. And the rest of them shouldn't be able to work, uh, bother me anyways. Alright, cool. Um, I'll put Farina here though, just in case. So can you do damage? Yes, you can. So I'll put Farina here, away from these guys. Um, over here, since he has this bolting out, I actually can attack him with Lin, and I will not be attacked back. Bishop's out of range, right? Yeah. But I can't kill him, that's very unfortunate. Okay. So, that being said, I will have to use Elwood then. Again. This one can die to Lin. As long as I'm out of Valkyrie range with Lin, that's good. Ugh! This guy does a lot of damage. Alright. So I'll go right here. Silver Sword. And Lin's first level as a Blade Lord. It's a decent one. And the resistance definitely helps. Alright, with that Divine coming in, uh, I'll even have Oswin tank it, why not? Boom! Big Axe through the Mage! Oh, I just realized he had Elf Fire. That's actually good, I killed him. Alright, where's this Valkyrie going? Nowhere. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna trade your weapon back out. And I'm gonna sit right here. Cool. Hector sits. Myrna stays. Continue to attack these shamans. In fact, you know, this retreat. draw them to attack me. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. Alright, cool. So we're surviving. Oh, I forgot about you. Ow, you hit me. You should die. They can't hit me, they can't even damage me. This one's close combat because it's forced to. Darn I didn't get a critical on the first strike. What a waste of a killing edge. Alright, this one also can't damage me. I didn't get a crit, so I didn't kill him. This one, crit? No crit. I didn't kill him. And another monk. So while Slayer cannot kill them fast, they also cannot kill me. Ouch. You're dead. And this is why Osman is one of the best generals in all of Fire Emblem. Both resistant to magic as well as physical. Yaku attacks me. I can't damage it. But with my lightning out instead of the shine, he can't double me either. So that's good. Alright. So that's really good. We are surviving. Um, as far as these monks are concerned, I'll probably just tank them all with Oswin. 
So there's four, I will use four jav uh, two javelins each, so I'll use my javelin up. So yeah, I'll use Oswin to do it, that way I don't uh, have to waste my L-fires. Because I don't have as much magic. Um, I Because I didn't have Pent and Priscilla before, uh, and they didn't weren't using... You know, I didn't have Pent until most recently, and Priscilla couldn't use L-fire until more recently as well. I didn't care to buy anima magic, so I need to keep them stocked. Plus, not to mention, Priscilla is a healer, and Pen is just there to help. So, Let's see, Osman can go on right where Lin is, and he'll be able to attack all the monks. Lin can retreat. Right, it was right above the bridge, right? Yeah. So you could be right here. Use all your javelins to kill all those guys. kill you. Alright, Vita should spawn probably pretty soon. Uh, this tributor seems to be seems to love charging us, so I'll she'll probably go next to Lin, in which will help because then she can get the kill. It won't give me much EXP, but you know, it, something's better than nothing. Uh, the Eclipse is no longer there, so the Luna is active, which is worse because now they have a chance to actually kill my characters. Um, I will back off though, because I can't handle all of these guys at the same time. Uh, I, I gotta forget, I can't forget about these guys. So, Berserk. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, I'm out of range. I should be. I should be out of range. Which means Farina can also start killing these guys as well. Ow. Hit me. Level up. Got resistance. That's great. Absolutely amazing. Uh, what's in this armory? Is there javelin? No, there isn't. So iron and silver weapons in this armory. And this vendor. Regular, just regular stuff. We can buy more L fires here as well. Oh, darn it! I messed up. So I was actually supposed to sell a bunch of stuff. I wanted to show you guys just how much money we can make by selling a few things in my inventories. Totally forgot to do that. So unfortunately, we will not be stocking up on as much silver weapons as I wanted to. But that's okay. We will make do. We will make do with what we got. Uh, if they attack Florina, that would actually be better. So, oh well. It is what it is. So right now we are all good, so we can in turn. Shamans keep moving in. Marina kills that guy. Monks move in. This shaman attacks Fiora, I can't retaliate. So I'm only mostly speeding up because A, you guys can see it too. I'm not gonna die. I clearly kill them. As well as these guys are all just the cannon fodder guys. They're not gonna do anything harmful to me. And this is a big map. We're already 43 minutes in. And so, kind of want to speed things up so this end doesn't end up being like, you know, almost two hours. Um, I'm expecting it to be maybe an hour and a half. Maybe. We'll see how things go. But the sooner the better. Because, again, like I said, there's nothing to see here. Nothing can kill me at this point unless it's the big baddies. Like that one druid with the Luna. This guy was kind of scary, but again, I kill him, I will double him, so he wasn't any issue either. So I was right, the Trobadur just went right next to Lin, which is perfect, she can kill him. Her. Kill her. Because all Trobadurs are hers. <laughs> She's. Hers. Girls. Another Druid. Probably has Nosferatu again. Gotta double check. Yes it does, that's fine. Uh, all these Shamans are vulnerable. So I can kill this one with range. And then I can kill this one with close combat. Alright. And then Sarah continue to... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Continue to attack the monk, that's fine. Just kill him. Get him off face. Alright. 
So Vita should probably spawn next turn, I believe. Possibly. Not entirely sure. But yeah, Lin, back up. Kill this girl. <laughs> Alright, we got another bishop coming up the middle. I could use Oswin to kill them. The monks will probably attack first, right? So... That's, that's, that's fine. Ooh, I forgot about you! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy! Is that seven range? It is. Woo! Close one. Close one. If Osman got berserk, that would have sucked. Because he probably would have went... He probably would have went charging. And that would not have been good. Just in case he's not out of range for some reason, I'm going to put Priscilla right here. Alright. Everyone else is good, so let's end turn again. Monks attack first. Shaman attack. They can't do anything. Monk again. Monk again. I can't kill this one unless I get crit. No. Hand axe breaks. Bishop moves in for range. He got a crit. He got a critical. So I need to back off and heal. Ooh, look, this monk's getting healed by the Valkyrie. Darn it. What a waste of my magic on Sarah. That's very annoying. Another bishop spawn. Vita still doesn't spawn either. Uh, I need to back up. I cannot kill the bishop this turn. I will use Pent to heal because he is stronger. I'm going to turn animations off now. I don't need them on. Uh, okay, so over here, I'll have Elwood help kill the Valkyrie, since it is very annoying. So Sarah will just uh, be on standby still. Alright, over here. That Luna is so scary. One percent crit still, but it does so much damage, and it, it, the damage will hit because it's a seventy percent. That's why it's not so much as the crit, because obviously we have the luck to negate it with Farina, who has twenty, and Fiora also, uh, Florina also has twenty. But it's the damage that it's going to do to me that's scary. And I need to get it alone, or you know, just keep uh, waiting for these guys to get closer. So I'm going to have Fiora and Florina probably talk to each other. I don't know about Farina. She's good as a solo unit, considering I also gave her the Aphis drops. Now, I'm a little disappointed because even with the Aphis drops, she didn't increase as many stats, but, you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to move back and have you guys support. You move back as well, because we are taking way too much damage. Not to mention, if we could draw more of these guys away from the Luna, that'll leave the Luna more vulnerable to be attacked solo. Hopefully, as long as the Shamans and Druid don't keep spawning constantly, endlessly. All the units are probably just going to move in closer. Osman got hit by the bishop, not a big deal. Can't damage me. Vita? No Vita yet. It's most interesting. So I'm going to kill this bishop now with Hector, or Osman. Cool. Another one is coming, that's so annoying. Alright, Elua, kill this Valkyrie, please. It's she is absolutely annoying me. Cool. And then Sarah can work on the monk. So 
you can't reach me, right? Yeah, so I can attack where the druid is and I'll be fine. Kill him. Yay. Good level? Speed. <laughs> Where's the speed, Viara? It's supposed to be your best stat. Why aren't you increasing your speed? this turn. Some more guys just moving into attack. Again, no one can die. Bishop's getting closer. Vita still didn't spawn. What turn is this? 11. I'm pretty sure she was supposed to spawn by now. Um, we also can see that no reinforcements are coming in yet, so we're pretty much clear to finish this chapter. Uh, I just need to start luring out the Berserk and Sleep Staves from those Valkyries, and then we're good to go. Oh my god, we finally got strength, and we even got a speed, no less. Oh my goodness. That's that's amazing. It's a miracle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use actually Priscilla to heal you. And I'm going to back pent off, because we need him to help kill the wyverns that spawn with Vita. Elwood. Oh, wait, Sarah was supposed to get this kill. Uh, Alright, I'll just back off and have it attack Marinus. Over here. You cannot reach me here. that. Attack Oswin. This monk will do close combat. Dead. <laughs> Vita? Not yet. My goodness. Alright. Uh, this druid. Can Fiora... No, she cannot reach anyways. Okay. Uh, but he can't reach us, so we can go close combat. Alright, so that takes care of all of them. What I could do to avoid the Luna is I could use the triangle attack to destroy him in one shot. Um, I think that will leave me vulnerable though, not meant to mention there's another Luna, to these guys. So if you see again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I will be just out of range, which is perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Cool, everything's going good. Alright, so Sarah, you go kill this dude here. Just be right there. Elwood, start helping Oswin mop up these guys because they are annoying. Can I one shot any of them? That one's where I hit. I can hit this one. If I'm in range of the Berserk stuff, that should be pretty good. Because then I could start uh, getting rid of it. Alright, so the rest of us are good. Woo! This is taking a while. Still no Vita. I don't know what triggers her to spawn. I'm pretty sure she should have spawned by now. This is turn 13. No enemy reinforcements are spawning. She should have been spawning by now, I think. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So your range. Oh, I'm just realizing that we can see her range because of her physic. So this is the range of the Berserk staff as well. So we can just move up too. Uh, it's probably going to hit me regardless. So I'm just going to use Oswin. Alright, so you guys are good here. I think Vita is the top wyvern, so I'll have you stand right there. Uh, yeah. We are out of range, so we should be able to kill him. Luna! 23 crit? 
So low ch lower chance. Actually, no chance actually. Um, yeah, we'll be fine. So let's just make sure we can kill him with a crit. We can. Uh, hero is out of range, so we can do a triangle attack here actually. So I'll put Fiora right here. I'll have Florina get the kill. Whee! Death to the Druid with Luna. Wow! Oh my... Do you guys see this? I only have one max stat and it's strength. The one stat that she should not be increasing. I have... I have HP, skill, speed, luck, defense, and resistance, and I didn't increase anything. Holy crap. Wow, that's so stupid. I should have had Farron to get the kill instead. Wow. That is so stupid. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Hello. Excuse me? Whoa, what the hell? 27? Okay, I gotta be careful. Uh, if my staff users get silenced by this guy... In fact, by the way, these druids are girls, by the way. You can tell because they're a little different. Interesting, right? If these druids, or if this one specifically, silence my staff users, I will not be able to cure my units. So I need to be careful for this one specifically. I mean, it was able to move, no less, and use its sleep staff. So if we take that into consideration, uh, which silence still does uh, half MP, so what is that? Six movement plus. 13 range. So, it's right, right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that silent staff can actually hit my flyers right now. Wow. I didn't see that coming. That was quite the range. And not to mention the sleep staff can hit us all the way out here as well. Um, now granted, there's nothing to kill us, so there's nothing, there's no danger to us here. But it is still scary to see. Not to mention this purge is here. So we do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the purges don't look like they move. Because if they could, they would have done so last turn and attacked Flarena who was sleeping. So we should be safe. Either way, we are in range of that sleep staff. And I need to get someone over here ASAP. Which I can't, just since Priscilla needs to do this. Where's that bishop? Oh, Valkyrie. I can't even hit it right now. Um, shoot. If it goes after one of my flyers, that's not going to be good either. Oh, can't even reach my flyers, that's good. Uh, Pent. No, I need to move back. I need Pent to be in range of Priscilla just in case. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. So we're good here. We need them that Valkyrie to come closer. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Uh, I'm gonna get out of range of that. Actually it wasn't in range, so I'm fine here. Hello, putting me to sleep too. Woo, good dodge. Okay, good. Move closer. And I dodge. Awesome. That's amazing. Still no Vita, so that gives us time. Uh, can I kill him? No, not yet. Okay, I can use you, right? I can't double. Oh my god. How much speed do you have? 21. Of course you do. Um, with my hit rate.
man. I should be able to kill it if I hit with the javelin. Or Ella can just get the crit, that's amazing. Good job. See, best unit. Ella good is my best unit. Nice level. Yes. Alright, nothing can hit me here. And I am in range to cure if I need to. So Priscilla, you go you go over here. Pent, you go right there. In range of both. Oswin, you retreat. And we're just gonna sit still. What do you have? A Luna, oh my god. And an Eclipse? That's good, actually, because if that's the case... Uh, the Eclipse, after they use their Sleep Staff again, they should attack us with the Eclipse and get closer every time. So we can knock one out, easy. Oh, I got put to sleep. Or at least that should be the case. Alright, so you don't have anything else, right? Yeah, just the Eclipse. Alright, so I need to prepare for an attack. Um, nothing else up here. The Sniper doesn't have a Ballista you, which is, which is very funny. <laughs> uh, these heroes... Silver Swords... You don't have anything to stop me. So I can put Elwood right here. He'll be fine. Just start attacking that hero. Osman retreat. Give us support over here. Ouch. What turn is this now? Turn 17. Where is Vita? She's supposed to spawn here. Where is she? It's very strange. This one has 17 speed, so this one's weaker. 27, 28. Can't reach me anyways, right? Yeah. So I'm free to do this. I need this person to keep coming at me. Oh, I should have healed this turn, but that's okay. And we'll just wait it. We'll wait it out. This is unfortunately this is the part of this mission that sucks, is we gotta keep waiting these things out. Because we need to get closer to these enemies and kill them. I didn't even know this one would charge the way it is. So it kinda sucks. In fact, if I move closer, it might not even attack us in, in range. I don't know. I need to be able to kill it, so... Yeah. Either way, I'm going to continue to move closer. Uh, Fair needs to heal, so... I can move in the other side of the mountain, the peaks, and I'll be fine. Should be able to kill it. 21. Is that 14 14? So I actually don't have enough of the Fiora, so I'm gonna use Florina. I'm gonna sit right here and keep healing. <laughs> Alright, that should be good. Elwood. So I'll range of the sniper, so I should be fine right there. Ouch. Ouch. It hit me! Oh my god, that eclipse hit me. That's so crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, unbelievable. This hit rate had to have been really low. Alright, so that's one druid down. Not that it was any trouble now anyways because he used all of his sleep staff. Now, the next one is a silence. So I wonder if it silences somebody, will it just start charging us like crazy? 
Or maybe it will use its eclipse. I don't know. Uh, we also gotta worry about this one. So that's one and two. Oh. It's the scary part about this chapter. You don't know what's gonna move, what's not. Alright. Well, you just gotta move in and see, right? It's the only thing we can do. So nothing happened there. I'm gonna have Elwood fall back because I don't want to risk him dying at any time. Alright, um, this one has the longest range, so we're going to see if we can, uh, attract it. This one will stay out, one, two, let's see, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So below the forest is this Berserk Staff range, which is also the range of that one. So if we use Florina, we should be fine. Do this and have you guys move in and support. Pent here and Priscilla here. We should be good. No one spawned. So what happens? Right, I forgot they can silence. Missed, that's okay, that's good. That's great. Absolutely amazing. Berserk did not move, right? Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it is a seven range, right? It is a seven range. The Berserk Staff did not move closer. That's kind of scary. Uh, the Silence did, though. Which is good. That means we can draw that one out now. So they should chase us down. We have a cat and mouse here. And they didn't move. Okay. Okay, well. I, sh I should be in range right here then, right? There it goes. I got silenced that time. Oh no, I dodged. Never mind. Uh, I thought I got silenced. So I can move back again. Alright, this time I got silence. In which now they will use their Eclipse to attack us. So now I can move back even more. And prepare to strike them. Level for Priscilla, not good, per the norm. Alright, they're in range, Florian can kill. Yay, another level for her as well. He'd be better. Wow, it's still terrible. The heck, and where is Vita? Alright, you know what, I'm going to take a timeout. I'll be right back. I need to check and see if she is supposed to spawn or not, because something's not right here. Alright guys, I'm back, I just double checked, and supposedly, we need to trigger her to spawn. So we need to move our units out, our ground units out, in order for her to actually show up. I did not know that. Um, see, Hector needs to stay to recruit, Osman stays to kill one, I probably need Elwood to stay here to kill one as well. So, that being said, I'm going to use Lin to move out north, and I'm going to use well, I already have Pent out this way, so I just need Lin, I think, to cross over here somewhere. And then I think we'll be able to spawn her. Um, in the meantime, I need to attract this Berserk Staff. So, if we check the range again, it was under this woods. So we need to move, maybe move closer in order to trigger that even more. Because they didn't move the first time. Which is very strange. So Lin needs to go over here. Everyone else should be fine. Alright, uh, I'm gonna stay out of the range of the sleep though. 
This one has seven as well. So this goes right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, so diagonal of that force is the range of the sleep. So as long as I'm out of range of that one, I'll be okay. So I'm going to put myself past the woods this time with Pint and Priscilla here as support. Let's see what happens this time. Okay, for, so first of all, these guys didn't move at all, and we got reinforcements, and that's not good. Um, okay. What's their hit rates? Uh, first, they have a lot of speed, 19 speed. Their hit rates are 102. They have no crits, okay, so... 102. So that's still scary. If they have they have 30% against Lynn, so I can't have her solo them. Um, yeah, I guess I gotta retreat. None of them had siege tombs, right? Yeah, they only have physics. I could move up another turn, but that's kind of risky. So I'm gonna just retreat for now. Oh my god, these Valkyries are so annoying. Like I don't even know why these ones aren't moving. The problem is, if I move in too close, they can destroy me. Kind of. Uh, the problem is, A, these guys got purges, and I don't know if they'll start moving if, you know, we get too close. Then there's a Berserk Staff, Silent Staff, and Sleep Staff. If one of my mages gets put to sleep and or Berserk, I can't stop them. I can't, you know, do double healings, so I gotta make sure I can't get killed. Okay, so it can't be diagonal of this, right? Shoot, I can only move one more space with my flyers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Did you count that, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if I move up diagonally, one space here, I will get attacked by that purge. I have 19, we have 23. Might as well find out and see if that will trigger anything. In fact, I'll just start trying to get both, I guess. I will not get closer though with my mages because I can't risk them getting status ailments. Purge didn't move, he attacked from where he was. That one did too. These Valkyries are charging to our position over here, so my flyers will have to probably take care of them. I probably should have took out the sniper with Elowood. Uh, so again, I will just sit here and wait for them to come to me. Miss. Hit me, but that's okay, not gonna kill me. More Valkyries spawn, my god. You guys all have 19. Oh, they have 20 speeds. My Jesus. I can't even double them. Like, that's the problem. I'm going to get doubled. <laughs> I'm going to get doubled by them. That's so insane. Alright, so I'm going to tank one more hits each. Ow. Actually, did a lot of damage. Alright. So now we got to retreat. And co uh, combat these Valkyries. Uh, farthest one. Range. So yeah, they double me. That's so insane. Uh, so I go on the peak. I only get attacked by whoa, two of them. No, one of them. Alright, so I'll do that. The rest of us will retreat for now. That way we all work together and kill them together. Uh, as far as these Valkyries... Ugh. Can't even use Elwood because it'd be too risky. Although if I get it on a plane, uh, wood forest, I will have 90 of void. 
Now you avoid, they won't have 10%. You know what? Elwood, go up and try and see if you can attract them to go your way. That'd be actually really good. Ouch. <laughs> he doubles me too. She. So they didn't attack Farina, they attacked Pen. That sucks. I didn't even see that coming. And they will not go after Elwood's side, so that's unfortunate too. And there's even more! Oh my gosh! 20, 19, 19, 19. Oh my goodness. Uh, with Elwood going up there though, I, they should go that way, the new ones. The old ones I don't know about, so. Oh my goodness. These Valkyries are too killer! So I can block one of them. So this one has to go all the way around to fight us. Kill. Darn it. Kill. Darn it. That's terrible. Alright, you kill this one. Baroner will kill this one. The fact that they double me is what's really scary. Alright. See what happens. Yada yada yada. That doesn't matter to me. These ones still move down because they can attack Priscilla. That's actually not what I wanted. Those ones should go after Elwood here. In which I will stop them with the javelin. Alright. So Priscilla can sit here and still block all of them. That's totally fine by me. One will, you know, they will eventually start going around the mountain. And as long as I am healed up, I can take them on with Fiora. Come on, crit! I, I, it was even worse, I missed! Wow, that's so insane. Alright, um, if I leave you... In range, you sh the Valkyrie should go after you because you are the you can get doubled. In fact, they might even go after Pent. Uh, ha 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 ha. Yeah, I just gotta. Move back a little. Pent, you're gonna have to take some hits. Alright. Gonna get a level. Woohoo! More reinforcements, my god. And now that I'm on four, I can also heal too. So, how much do you have? 20, 20, 19, 20. My god. So, again, we're running into more reinforcements. I'm pretty sure Vita was supposed to spawn now that I've crossed this bridge. It's weird that she's not here yet. Resistance, please. Luck? Both. Okay, that's. I asked. I got what I asked. I should have asked for HP too. <laughs> so with the luck I get extra resistance, or avoidability as well as the resistance, so I take less damage, that's amazing, it's really good stuff. Uh, my Priscilla can no longer retaliate, so she can only take hits now. Um, so Valkyrie can't go around, these ones can go on the left side, so that's a little scary. Crit! Damn it Fiora, why are you missing so bad? I'm going to heal, and then Priscilla will heal Pence. And then you guys can work together to kill this one with a triangle attack. Oh, 
Boom. Alright. And I'm out of range of the other ones. Alright, cool. So we're still just waiting for Vita to show up. Not to mention all these Valkyries are just spawning endlessly now. All of a sudden. So actually it was a good thing I didn't go north in the very beginning because then all these Valkyries would have been spawning and I would have had to deal with them as well as any of the other units. And they're, these aren't monks, these aren't mages, these aren't shamans, they're Valkyries with hella high speed. They'd be doubling almost every one of my characters. I mean they're able to double my Pegasus Knights if they're not using the lightest weapons. That's so crazy. That's so insane. And even Elwood doesn't even have enough javelins for this. Um, I'm going to wait this one and I'm going to go close combat with my lance. Yeah, I, I just can't take them all on. I don't have enough javelins for it. That's crazy. Um, Alright, so... Only one will be able to attack us. We could do another triangle attack. So if you move there... Garen in there. You get the kill. Boom. Alright, so that'll draw another one. Oh, I got doubled. <laughs> Alright, so no more reinforcements. That's good. Uh, I don't need to be on the fort to get my avoidability bonus, so I can't start going close combat on these guys. Uh, we'll kill this one. It's unfortunate I already hit with the javelin, huh? Yeah, that sucked. How many is there? One, two, one, two, three, four, five fresh ones. And I need two hits on each. Okay, so yeah, I need, I need to do close combat on some of them. So I'll just get rid of the one that I already hit first, since I can kill it. Um, if I move around the mountain, they could... Only one can hit me still. Okay, so that's good. So a pence, heal. And he levels. Good level. I'll take a decent level. Alright, so this time... Florina can get another kill. I'll attract another one. Or not. So they did, they don't want to. They don't want to go attack my flyers. Okay, cool. Um, that means I could go attack them with my flyers this turn. Alright, so just careful movements with my with my Elowood will get these guys all killed. Without having to use my javelin up. Alright, so these peoples, some of them are hit already. Can you kill one? Yes, you can. That's great. Kill this one. Can you... Can you kill this one, please? Yes! Thank you! Which leaves one more. And we should all be able to work together, if not... Fair enough. Can you... Kill them! Yes! Thank you! Three crits. Or, well, Florian got one shot. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, we are done. We can resume our last roll of trying to get those Valkyries over here to move now. As well as soak up the purges. Still no Vita. Alright. So those guys actually hit me. It's kind of scary. Their hit rates are so low, too. But I'm going to start ret retaliating with my javelin. Um, I probably should not attack. Just in case. They hit me? Really? If all four hit me, they can kill me. So, yeah, I better not attack at all. I need at least one to miss. Um, anyways, the rest of us, we're just gonna 
fact, those purges. So they move close combat, that's quite interesting. 1 HP for Elwood's level, that sucks. His first bad level in like, since he was a lord lord, like straight up, you know, weak lord. <laughs> um, any case, okay, that's fine. Uh, now that they went close combat, I can actually take a turn to... You know what, forget it. I have the javelin, I can use the uses, that's fine. Uh, my hit rate's actually pretty low against these guys. Kill that one. There, I'm just gonna kill them all. Just get rid of them. They're annoying. Uh, these purges are one, down to one each. Good. Just tank. Elwood kill. Elwood kill. And hit. Yes. Alright. They are all dead. Elwood, you can now attack the sniper. There is no more purges to attack you. just bishops. Now, these guys are still an issue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I am in range of that sleep, and yet it is not moving. Why is it not moving? I swear, I'm going to move in like to right here, and then they're going to start moving, and all three are going to attack. And that's not going to be good. So I'm going to move right there to heal. You to support. You to support. I'm not going to move in with both of you. I'm gonna turn visuals on because if they start moving and using their staves, staves, I want to know what happens. The sniper moved. What the heck? Okay, so as you guys can see, they're moving, but they're not using their. They didn't use their staves. This one is, but what? <laughs> Who knows what's wrong with this game? I don't know what things trigger what. But there's Vita finally. I will take another break real quick. Okay, I am back again. I'm um, just answering some text messages and emails. Any case, all right. So they moved up. Uh, only the berserk worked or did anything. The sleep staff didn't do anything. The science staff actually probably could have hit me off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Actually, out of range. So that's fine. Um. Okay. So now I need. To, uh, first, I'm going to talk to Vita before I forget. She kills me. So here's Vita, little nine wyvern lord, strong. Uh, don't know if we'll use her, but she is a really strong unit. So we'll see. She has 12 con. I just realized that she has 12 con. That's actually really strong. That's more than. That's almost as much as Hector. In any case, um, yeah, let's kill this one. Three damage. Fifteen. How much do you do? Almost. Um, can you get hit? Dodge. Yeah, I dodge. Perfect. Alright, so Link can get the kill. Okay, cool. Get rid of your spear, take out Iron Lance, just, just to add extra support. Uh, Merlinus, you can actually start heading to the left. We can get the silver card and start getting some silver weapons. Alright, we need to take out that Berserk staff. That's like option number one here. Doubles me? Even with my Killer Lance? Oh my gosh. Elfire, shoot! And that one doubles us. Or at least Farina. It doubles Farina. No, it doesn't double. Oh, that's right, because it weighs her down. Okay, so that's okay. Alright, so we, what we can do is set up a triangle attack for Fiora to kill this one with a sword. So that means we need to attack from range with Ferna and Florina. Florina doesn't have a javelin though, so that's not good. So which one do I need to kill? The sleep? I can't 
because it would double me. Shoot! So I can't do a triangle attack to kill the Berserk. Um, that being the case, that means I need to move in and attack with my mages as well, which Priscilla can't attack. I need a triangle attack though, guaranteed. I can't avoid that. So what I could do... We can kill the Elfire one? No, we should kill the Thunder one. Oh my god. Alright. Either way, I'm gonna get doubled. Alright. So you know what? Oh, there's a bishop too, huh? Shoot! If I get too close, the bishop will attack us as well. Alright, you know, I had to forget the triangle attack. I'm just... it's not gonna work. Uh, kill this one. Dodge it. Yeah. Good job, Florina. What was that? Eight? Plus... Ten? 18, 25, so they can't kill me. 25 plus another 8. I'll be fine. Crit! Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. Now they shouldn't attack Farina because they'll she can retaliate. And I will kill you with a crit. Woo! You got to see the triangle attack in animation form. And I finally got A swords. I just need a little bit more and I can get S. Alright, cool. So that takes care of So we have Berserk and Sleep. Uh, Priscilla can sit here. Oh, wait, wait. Pent, you go here. And Priscilla go here. Now unless they both target Priscilla and Pent with the Berserk and Sleep and successfully work, uh, I should be okay. Should be absolutely fine. Elwood, you're out of range of the archer. Go right here. Ah, he has a longbow. So he's gonna be in the forest. Darn it. No fire. Ouch. Sleep on Florina. Should fail. Yeah. Berserk on Florian should also fail, it does. Alright, whoa, we got five wyverns. Oh my god, I thought it was just like three or four. Oh boy, that's not good. It's a good thing I gave Vita, Vita a uh, weapon. Can you kill any of them? Yes, you can, perfect. Oh boy, that's super scary. Kill this one. Alright, I'm um, gonna have Lin go on the forest since she is the most vulnerable. So I can do this, trade, pull out the Lance Reaver, and I can hit this guy for the kill. So this Wyvern should probably... Oh, it has a Javelin, so it might attack someone who can't retaliate. Oh, um, shoot, that's a lot of Wyverns, though. Alright, uh, I should be able to take out these guys, no problem. Cannot double. I can double. Okay, so let's heal. Actually, let's use Priscilla to heal. Alright, you move here. Kill this one. Level up for Florina. Level 8. Okay. At least we got speed. Alright, so that's fine. Then this one is already weakened, so we can kill this one. And then Farina can get a triangle attack kill on the last... Oh no, I can't. Uh, so I need to use Javelin and hit this one. And Fior uh, gets the triangle attack kill on this one. Alright. Cool! That leaves these guys, which will be fine. Uh, in fact, I will have... Pen... Do they come out? 
I'll take him out, right? Tank will draw them out. Alright, we're getting close to the end. We're about to finish. Oh, I forgot about Elliwood. It's okay. He's got it. He's good. He's chilling. <laughs> so he went range on Lin. That's fine. He has a zero hit rate. He should have attacked Sarah. So five more Wyverns. He did take a spawn up for the Wyverns. That's great, actually. Uh, let's see. Can you kill this one? No, you can't. Can you kill this one? No, you can't. Okay. That's not good. Could probably kill the middle one. Can you kill this one? Can you kill this one? No, you can't. Wow, what the heck? Can you kill this one? Yes. Okay, there you go. Kills this one. Hair in my mouth. My own hair in my mouth. Lin can't be touched by these guys, actually, so that's cool. So Sarah can, so she needs to kill this one. Alright. Awesome. And then you are gonna just keep going. So we're completely done. The purge mate, uh, bishops do not move, so we should be able to just go in there, kill both of them. Alright, uh, Priscilla, you are going to go and get the silver card and start buying some stuff. I forgot about Elwood again. Just think if I totally forgot and he's getting hit over there. Next thing you know, he died. Uh, just use your sword to kill him. Good job, and he gets a level. Ah, uh, it's all right. I would want him to increase his HP and defense more because if he can't even survive hits from the dragon at the end of the game, that would be really bad. Because right now, he's looking to be the guy who will be my savior for this uh, game. Right, so, Sarah, you can't... You have a chance to crit. I don't want that. So you weaken him. Lin gets the kill. Alright. Now that they're dead, Hector can start moving up all the way without fear. And we can seize the throne. Or no. Oh, we don't need to seize the throne. Don't we need to seize the throne in... In Elwood's version, pretty sure we had to. So we just need to kill Lloyd. So actually, Priscilla, get rid of your stuff. Get the card. I don't even know if we even need the member card anymore. All right, who wants this kill? Eight, eight, eight. We're all away. So I'll give Fair another kill since she's a little lower level. All right, and that just leaves Lloyd. More wyverns spawn. Okay, it's not what I was expecting. I'm gonna turn animations off. It's getting annoying. Oops. So Hector doesn't need to go up there, I guess. Okay, so that's fine. He can stay here. Uh, Priscilla, go down. Follow with Mernus. Are we healed? We are all healed. Can we kill Lloyd? No, he destroys me. Oh my god. Right, because I have no speed. In fact, Florina is the only one. Florina is the only one who will not. What? Wait, what? Oh, right, because I'm using a killer on. I lose four. That makes me 18. None of my flyers can actually combat this dude. Wow. Okay, Elwood. Hurry up. <laughs> Elwood is literally the only unit besides Osman who can fight Lloyd. What a joke. That's really weird. I should probably back off just in case he starts moving out of nowhere. 
The last thing I need is everyone dying because Lloyd decides to move. All right, so we're getting, we're getting there, <laughs> slowly but surely. All right, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. And I don't need silver bows. All right, so we're gonna do that for now. Uh, I could probably buy a couple more swords. The reason I did eight. Wait, is it eight lances? Because a lot of people use lances. You can't kill, right? Yeah. And then it gets killed again. Alright. So no more reinforcements now. Ellawood, how do you fare against Lloyd, huh? Door keys. Do we need door keys? No. We do not. Unless we want to open the final doors to the bosses in the first place. I'll buy a heal. I sh you know, I shouldn't buy a heal because I'm going to get... I'd rather have men's. Buy a couple of fires. I think I need one more, so let's buy three. And that's it for that. Okay, so the rest I could spend on a few more silver weapons. Okay. Also have you with him. How do you fare? 16 and he can crit me which will kill me. What happens if Fiora is with you? 15 and he can't crit me so this is a good fight. Alright, so it's Elwood versus Lloyd. Uh, we'll do animations on. He can't crit me, I can't crit him. So it's straight up even. One, two, one, and we'll leave it at that. And like I said, even though I only went down to 1.3k, I have a bunch of stuff to sell. Or not a bunch, but I have stuff to sell in my inventories that you guys will see. And you guys will see why I didn't need to worry about money. We meet at last, Elwood. Let's talk. <laughs> I'm Lloyd, son of Brendan Reed, my brother Linus, whom you killed, longs for you to join him. Prepare to die. Wait! Oof. Now that Elwood's here, how are you fair? Not good at all. But I will not die, so that's good. Have. We're gonna do another turn. I don't want to take any chances, so I'm just gonna end my turn. He heals. I forgot about that. So I gotta hit, hit, hit. If he's hitting me. I should hit him. That's just the way it should work, right? Man, we are just hitting each other. This is why he's scary. Alright. Hence. Carefully. Choose Elwood. Alright. We're ready for more rounds. Let's go. Can we kill him? Yes, we can. We can kill him right now. Hit him right now. Thank you. Look, Elwood's amazing. And this is why this guy is scary. Because he hit me every time with... 44% but Elwood is absolutely a beast he hit every time as well with 66 but man past three levels have not been good that's not that's not good all right we did it we're done what is it 145 minutes oh my goodness all right I'm going to end it here quickly because that was a long one I'm getting tired of this uh, you guys know what happens right if you guys don't know feel free to go watch my brother play and you know you, he should he's at this point already as well and you guys can enjoy the story for what it is uh, as for me I'm just doing it for the run so thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed have a great day comment down below if you have anything to say did I do this okay did I do it wrong how would you guys have done it differently let me know 
uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more content as well as you know what happens next so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye